Welcome to Instant Efficiency Series. In this video, we understand how Office 365 allows us to share documents in a secure way. Creating documents and sharing with colleagues is a common activity. It is important to understand the difference between delivery of the document and sharing. The difference is simple. If a document is delivered, you do not care what is done with the document afterwards. The delivered document is a copy. Sharing means maintaining a single copy and controlling the access to it. The best way is to keep the document in a central place and then decide who can see it and what they can do with it. SharePoint Online which is a part of Office 365, gives you full control over your documents. Trying to control security for many documents and many people soon becomes too complex and futile. SharePoint offers a simpler and smarter way to control document security. Documents are saved in containers called document libraries. Ideally, Related documents should be stored in separate libraries. For example, you may store sales proposals in one library and purchase orders in another. Multiple libraries are stored in a SharePoint site. A site can be for a department, team or a specific project. How do we control who can do what with which documents? The simplest way is to decide this for all documents in a site. Let us first answer the what part. SharePoint provides four levels of permissions. The view permission level allows people to only view documents. The read permission level allows people to view as well as download documents. The contribute permission level allows creating, editing or deleting of documents. The full control permission level allows anything, including deleting the entire library. Now, let us understand the who part. For each SharePoint site, there are four groups. Let us say our site is called My Company. The four groups would be called my company owners, my company members, my company readers and viewers. Each group has a corresponding permission level. To decide the who part, think of which users need which permissions and add them to the appropriate group. For example, if you want Lisa to create and edit documents in any document library in the site, just add her to the members group. If your boss wants to have the ability to read any document, add her to the viewers group. Be careful about whom you add to the owners group. SharePoint gives you many more ways of tweaking the security exactly as per your needs. Document libraries automatically get the same permissions as the site. As an exception, we can assign a separate set of permissions for specific libraries or even individual documents. As you know, SharePoint documents can be viewed or edited on all devices using a simple browser. The security settings will be applied on all devices without any compromise. Why don't you try using secure document libraries in your team and send us your feedback? Thank you.